Hello, family and friends. Hello, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Matt, the creator of Clearlight Media. I hope you'll join me for adventure, inspiration, travel, helpful products and reviews, and the whatevers and whatnots, small and great, of daily life. Each video features original music. Please subscribe, share, like, and comment. In the last episode, I gave you a look at the goods, services, and logistics I was considering while planning a long-term move to a foreign country during a global health situation. I went through my to-do and to-get lists specific to my own needs. It is definitely possible to become an expat right now, but certainly trickier, more time-consuming, and more expensive. I also shared a list of costs. Be on the lookout for upcoming product and service reviews from Clearlight Media. After spending almost three years on the Oregon coast, I really couldn't imagine living without an ocean at my doorstep. Though all three of my final country choices have coasts and similar climates, Thailand and Vietnam have the most coastline and most varied topography. All the Southeast Asian countries are on the front lines of climate disaster, as with all coastal communities. This fact doesn't drive me away. I'm not scared of the big one, but rather that I won't get to see everything before the big ones hit. These countries all have relatively clean environments and no nuclear power plants, but Thailand has never been the site of a modern war. No landmines. No Agent Orange or other war chemical contamination. The people of the Land of Smiles are known for welcoming visitors and taking care of people. Thailand has many place names that allude to its good, happy people. I love food from all over the world. Generally, lots of fresh fruits and veggies, spicy dishes, rice and noodles. I have an especial affinity for Thai cuisines and have thought of Thai food as my favorite for at least the past 20 years. Thailand ranks the highest of these Southeast Asian countries on the Human Development Index and most of the Peace, Happiness and Social Progress Indices. Thailand seems to have the most hospitals, doctors, and even has a medical visa that allows people to stay in the kingdom for medical procedures, recovery, and end-of-life palliative care. Thailand is a popular destination for medical travelers, as it offers world-class care at a tiny fraction of the cost of my home country. I chalk this up to the Thai culture having a more advanced understanding of the nature of reality. There are ways for a foreigner to work legally in Thailand. Laws and visa requirements vary widely and can change quickly. It may be best to speak with an immigration attorney in your preferred destinations to get the best, most up-to-date information. Thailand seems to have the most widespread, reliable technology infrastructure and fastest internet speeds. Upon scrutiny of the specifics of Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand, and the compass of my personal happiness and well-being, I chose Thailand by returning to my top five considerations. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned to Clear Light Media. Please subscribe, share, like, and comment.